Hello, I am, I am Professor Eri Geri, giving you brief introduction of mechanics, which will be helpful for all first year engineering students of all the universities, especially we are going on with Mumbai University. It uh, consists of what is mechanics, its uh, fundamental concepts, its uh, fundamental principles, the system of units, method of problem, numerical accuracy. So, initially we will see what is mechanics. Mechanics is the science which describes and predicts the conditions of arrest or motion of bodies under the action of forces. Then we are categorizing engineering mechanics as one is what a rigid body, secondly deformable bodies and fluids. Mechanics is the foundation of most engineering sciences and is indispensable prerequisite of their study. Fundamental concepts of engineering mechanics is to be studied as a rigid body. Rigid body is again uh, differentiated into statics and uh, dynamics statics which deals with uh, the bodies which are in uh, without any movements whereas the uh, dynamics is deals with the bodies with the movements and these movements will be further differentiated as kinetics and kinematics The force associated with the motion of the position of a point P is given in terms of three coordinates measured from a reference point or origin. Then a mass used to characterize and compare bodies. Example response to Earth's gravitational attraction and a resistance to change in translational motion. Force. Force represents the action of one body on another. A force is characterized by its point of application, magnitude and direction. That is a force is a vector quantity. In Newtonian mechanics, space, time and mass are absolute concepts uh, independent of each other. Force, however, which is not independent of the other three, the force acting on a body is related to the mass of the body and the variation of its velocity with time. The idealizations of these uh, discussed things will be dealt with what uh, in the given figures for particle and rigid bodies. So, fundamental principles will be again explained with the help of these simple figures where a bike is going which is striking to a brick wall then a man pushes the car or a trolley from these we can explain the newton's first law which states that if the resultant force 
holds on a particle is zero, the particle will remain at rest or continue to move in a straight line. And the Newton's second law states that a particle will have an acceleration proportional to a non-zero resultant applied force that is F equal to M A where M A M is the mass and A is the accelerations. Again this can be illustrated by these figures sketches. Newton's law of gravitational force is also to be considered for second law of Newton whereas we will see it in what third, third law of Newton where the forces are equal and opposites and it, it states that the forces of action and the reaction between two particles have the same magnitude and line of action with opposite sense.